Hello musicians, Henriette here from Pro Am Strings. Welcome to lesson 11 in the series Learn to Read Violin Music Notes. Today we're going to be thinking about the key of F major and we're going to learn some more tricky dotted rhythms. So stay tuned right until the end. So let me show you this um, music example here today. We are going to have a look at the time signature first and the time signature we are now familiar with is 3-4 time which means there are three crotchet beats in one bar and in America you guys will say there are three quarter notes in each bar and um, you can't actually see a single bar in this piece that has three quarter notes or three crotchets in so it gets a little bit more complicated now but despair not because I'm going to talk you through each detail of this rhythm and it looks seriously difficult here today doesn't it now when we think about this first bar let's focus on this bit first shall we this is the first beat of the first bar we know this one this is one and then we said peanut butter or Piccadilly or any other four syllable word that is your favorite you can say there and then you can hear immediately how fast these notes go so I'm counting this as one peanut butter three this is then the third beat of the bar that's why I'm saying three the two is taken up by this whole peanut butter thing you see so you get one peanut butter three one two three so far so good I think and now we're getting something a little bit more intricate and we're getting a dotted quaver and a semi-quaver. Now you may remember from last lesson, lesson 10, that a dot after a note means you add half as much again. In order to know how much of what it is then we need to split this quaver, which it was without the dot, into two semi-quavers. I think you, you can follow me up to that point, isn't it? If this quaver equals two semi-quavers, I can add a third one, half as much again. So this bit here would add up to three semi-quavers, and my fourth is here. And now you can perhaps imagine how this bit is exactly the same as that bit, except for this dotted quaver is... is the same value as three semiquavers. So when I'm going to play this, I'm going to say in my head again, peanut butter. And the ter, the last syllable of the word peanut butter, is this one. So I'm counting one, two, three, four. And then I'm doing the exact same thing again. One, two, three, four. And this is then the third beat of the bar. I'm so I'm counting this as Peanut butter, peanut butter, three. Wow. <laughs> and then this feels rel relatively easy then, doesn't it? Just a three beat note at the end. A dotted minim, a dotted half note, equals three crotchets, as we've seen in the previous lesson. So shall we count all of this through in the proper style then? And now you can perhaps also listen to how that is going to sound in music because the, the big advantage of using these silly words in the music is that you can immediately hear how the music is going to sound so i'm counting this in for three one two three one peanut butter three one two three peanut butter peanut butter three one two three Shall we just clap this rhythm? I'll count us in for three again. One, two, three. One, in, three. One, two, three. Peanut butter, peanut butter. One, two, three. If you find this very tricky, Play the video back and do that a few more times. We're going to do it one more time right now, all together. Okay, so I'm subdividing the dotted quavers into a peanut butt, and the tur is the next semi-quaver. Here we go. One, two, three. One peanut butter three. One, two, three. Peanut butter, peanut butter three. One, two, 
three. Let's play this, shall we? Feel free to join me if you like. Uh, you might also join me towards the end of this video. I'll leave it up to you. One, two, three. to grips with that rhythm now I hope. So now that we've become more familiar with the time signature let's have a think about the key signature and you will have noticed that I always always split those two things because it's only until you get a little bit further advanced that you can combine these two aspects the time and the pitch all in one go so feel free to keep splitting those in your own music as well and not try them both together because for my simple brain that would be a little bit too much to think about so that is okay to do it like that what have we got for our time signature here this is the first time that we've come across this little thing here and that is called a flat and a flat makes a note a little bit lower a little bit flatter as opposed to the sharp which made um, a note a little bit higher so this time we're lowering the note and which note are we lowering it is the note that is on top of this middle line which is called the B so this flat here makes all the B's whether this is this B or high B's or low B's it really doesn't matter all the B's are made flatter into B flats now now when we play when we see this B flat for our key signature and we finish our piece on an F, we are playing in the key of F major. Now, we have in the past been thinking about what that means when you play in certain keys, and composers use these keys to reflect different styles and different moods in music, and you may have already picked up from the way that I was playing it, that this is a little bit warmer, a little bit darker a sound than some more brighter keys that have sharps for their key signature. For us it's not even that important other than that we need to know where to place our fingers on the violin uh, but it's for composers and it's quite useful occasionally as a player to put yourself into the shoes of a composer to see what is going on and why that's happening. So we're having this B flat and we're finishing on an F we're playing in the key of F major. Now our notes are going to go F, F, G, and here is that B flat. And when you play this first finger on the A string, you must pull it back to the beginning of the string. I'll show you this in a moment when I'll play this for you again. Then we've got an A, and then we've got G, 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 F. And we've seen in our previous lesson again, between the note G and the note F, there is a whole tone in between. So we're going to go a whole step down. So there is a space between my fingers here, between G and F. Let me play it for you now. So before I play this whole tune, uh, let's just practice the A and then the B flat. So here's my A. And my B flat is right at the beginning of the string. So we used to play an A here. We're pulling our finger back to the beginning of the string there now. Okay, let's do that again. A and B flat. Okay, from the start, here we go. One, two, three. Run this video back from the beginning 
because there are a few issues here that all come together uh, that you may just want to mull over a little bit more so any questions please drop them down into the comment section below this video and I will get back to you I promise I look forward to seeing you again in the next lesson but for now happy practicing and goodbye